Hi to everybody. We are at Globe Life Field. I am Sarah Blaskovich, food writer for the Dallas Morning News. I'm Evan Grant, eater for the Dallas Morning News. <laughs> you also know a couple of things about the Texas Rangers. Um, baseball and food, two great things that grow great, go great together. That's right. Maybe foreshadowing. It, right. So uh, every year, Evan and I taste some of the foods at the ballpark, and we're going to do that again, but we're going, we slimmed it down just a little bit. We've got five dishes here. There are eight new dishes, but we want to get um, a little more to the point about what we think is great. So I want to start, Evan, with the chicken fried brisket sandwich, because this is kind of a headlining thing. Um, it is the most expensive dish at $16.50, but uh, that's not expensive compared to other stuff. Show us the inside of that thing. Okay, so you get some You got slabs of brisket, brisket uh, battered and fried. Breaded. There's a little bit of, uh, I guess this is Sweet Baby Ray's, is it? Uh-huh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, pickles and onions in there. Right. You get in there, you take the first bite, and tell me what you think of this chicken fried <laughs> barbecue sandwich. That's the money shot with Evan right there. People love me shoving my mouth down in a big piece of food. I do. It's quite good, but it's, it's a little bit bready. I mean, with the Texas Toast Grilled, you get a little bit of, uh, you get the texture of some crunch there. Mm -hmm. And then you add the breading on the, on the smoked brisket, and it's more breading. So it's a little bit bready. It means, you know, I think it'll be a little bit heavy, um, but the taste is fine. The brisket, the brisket is Nolan Ryan beef. Yep. Um, it's. I mean, I think my take is, brisket doesn't need to be fried, and it doesn't need to be on a sandwich. You can do one or the other, or you can do both. Um, it's, you know, it's both. It's, it's a little too much of both. I give it two bites. That means something. Yeah. Here, put that in here. Two years ago, you were very upset about the rattlesnake hot dog. You didn't want to eat it. I think I made you eat it. It did not bite you back. I did not eat the rattlesnake because I have a. I have you didn't a deal, eat it. No, I have a deal with all venomous animals. <laughs> Sounds I like a deal with the devil. Eat them, so long as they don't eat me. <clears throat> also, that deal also extends to sharks. I've been offered shark steak. I've been offered shark fin soup. Uh huh. I don't eat it because my deal is look. Okay. You don't eat me. I, I won't eat you. It. Try that. That is um, alligator andouille sausage. So we should have a little bit of um, Cajun spice in there. Battered and fried with mustard because that's what you do. Well, let me just say this. Do not put ketchup or as my backup, Joe Hoyt. That's why he's the backup. Someday he's going to be the baseball writer. <laughs> but only... Love you, Joe. ...when he stops putting mayonnaise on his hot dogs. Oh, Joe. But here we go. All right. Well, here's the thing, sir. You know, people have always told me that alligator tastes like chicken, right? Yeah. In this case, it tastes like a corn dog. <laughs> so alligator does not taste like chicken. According to Evan Grant, you heard it first. I, I think it kind of tastes like whatever it is you're, um, the preparation. Mm -hmm. this, this tastes like, a, it tastes like you put andouille sausage in a, in a corn dog wrapper. Uh -huh. Um, I don't believe this is Nolan Ryan alligator. I think Nolan's only producing beef these days. It seems right. Although I would love to see like a picture of Nolan like wrestling an alligator. Yeah, that's that's on the promotional materials for next year. That would be we'll talk to him. I, and I, we'll talk I, to like, him. I could see <laughs> Nolan just putting the alligator in a headlock <laughs> and punching the alligator. I mean, and, he's all of our hero. And then eating it probably with the with the skin <laughs> still on. Um, or deep frying it and covering it in mustard, right on the spot. Uh, uh, I differ uh, in opinion from you. I like that, and I would order that oh, instead I, of a regular hot dog or a corny dog here. You would. I do. I think it's fun. I like the spice. Uh, I like the variety. And I, I don't know. I've never met an alligator, so I'm not really that like worried about that. My my alligator relationship. No, no, no. I like this. I just to me, it doesn't taste significantly different than a corn dog. Um, Fair enough. Or I'm sorry, a corny dog. In Georgia, when I grew up, we called them corn dogs. Oh yeah. Obviously, I've learned better. You're getting with it in Texas to call it a corny dog. A corny dog. I am a chicken salad fanatic. I love it. Uh, I have deep feelings about what should go in it. Grapes, yes. Uh, celery, no. Nuts, yes. It's a it's a whole thing. Um, this is fake chicken with grapes and. What is this fake chicken made from? To, I. I have an answer to this. I believe it's soy protein and some other stuff. 
It's made to look and taste like chicken. Evan doing vegan chicken. Very modest bite. Right. Um, does it taste like chicken? It tastes like your, like a chicken salad sandwich. There's no doubt about. It. I'm not. Isn't that kind vegan. of amazing and brilliant? Because that's not chicken. It's not chicken. I'm not the world's biggest chicken salad guy. It's certainly. Here's the deal. My stepdaughter Natalie asked me what uh, what vegan options there would be at the ballpark because she is she's pescatarian. Uh huh. Um, so she wanted me to check out what vegetarian items there are. Um, I don't know how big she is into the eating the impossible meats and those kinds of things. Yep. But I mean, this Understandable. certainly for any for anybody who's looking for a vegetarian option, it tastes like chicken. It looks like chicken. Um, I I think this is all psychosomatic. But when I put the sandwich near my face, I do get the the slightest hint in my mind or maybe my nose of something that smells manufactured to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I get like a, it kind of tastes like, smells like sneakers. <laughs> you know that sneaker smell? Um, it doesn't taste like sneakers at all. I think this is delicious. I love a chicken salad sandwich. I think this tastes like real chicken. Um, I think the trouble is the bread. I believe this is also vegan bread. Here, try that. It's like, it's a little too brittle. Um, it doesn't really hold up the chicken salad very well. But I would eat this chicken, vegan chicken salad in like, in a cup or in a bowl, even without the bread. If you're gonna be health conscious and maybe not yeah. right, eat as much bread, I say just go with the just vegan chicken. The bread. But I disagree with you, I think this is good. As a meat eater, I think this is really good. I love processed cheese. Do I say this every year? I love it so much. Uh, I want it at the ballpark, it's perfect. Um, I, I don't care how much real cheese is in it, it's so good. So this is Rico's nacho cheese on top of Tostitos tortilla chips, um, but with mac and cheese on top. So like maybe like the, the Rico's is the glue, and then you put some mac on top so that it doesn't fall off. I'm, I'm guessing here. And ah. then, <laughs> it did fall off. <laughs> A little jalapeno. Um, it, uh, it's a pretty serious nacho. And I'm gonna try a little bit of mac while you eat that bite. Reese's cups are an item, two great things going great together. Yep, right? chocolate and peanut butter. Perfect marriage. This is a case of two great things that don't do so well for me. Um, and for this specific reason, the nacho cheese, you go to the ballpark, you get the nacho cheese, you love that nacho cheese flavor. Yes. Um, love the jalapeno. But then you add this regular mac and cheese in there, and it just kind of, I think, takes a, it, it com, there's there's competing cheeses here. Too much cheese. And I didn't think that was a thing, I love cheese. I, I, I don't think cheese is like the fight with one another. But, and you've also got sour cream. Yes. Not cheese, but more dairy. On dairy, on dairy. So, I... I I mean, like I would, my whole deal on this, would, it would be I'd eat these like like this so that I got everything but the mac and cheese because I just don't. You want the mac and cheese nachos hold the mac, <laughs> which is uh, nachos. For me on the nachos, now again, vegetarians could eat this or at least those who would partake of, of, of dairy products. Uh -huh. um, my feeling on, on, on this would be, give me a little bit more protein, less carbs. The other thing I worry about yeah. is if this is sitting at your lap for an inning or so. Are you... You know, your, your, your chips are going to get point. soggy. Yeah. And then the, the mac is going to make it extra gooey, and I just feel like that's not going to yes. be... Yes. We're in a little shape. bit better shape in this ballpark because we've got a roof for the hottest days, which is... Uh, you know better than me, a game changer, it seems. Correct. But um, but still, ooh, this on a hot day. Mm -mm. I, I, again, you put some chopped brisket yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, for Sarah, you could put the chicken salad on there, I guess, <laughs> the, the vegan chicken salad. <laughs> Don't take this so far. So this is the cornbread chili pie dog. Y'all can see this. This is, instead of a bun on a hot dog, it's a piece of cornbread. It is not portable. I thought this was going to try to be a cornbread bun, and I was concerned about that because that, that wouldn't work. No, this is a piece of cornbread underneath, and this is a knife and fork situation. Correct. And I, only, I don't have a fork at the moment. Um, you want this? 
I have a knife, okay. Uh, so there's chili on top of the cornbread. There's an all beef hot dog. Uh, I believe this is a Nolan Ryan hot dog. And then there's shreddy cheddy and jalapenos. And the idea here makes a lot of sense. It's Frito pie like without the Fritos, sub in cornbread. Now the cornbread is very crumbly. Everything tastes fine, everything tastes good. The Nolan Ryan hot dog is a quality hot dog. Chili is great. I think that's Texas Chili Company. Um, chili. Um, the cornbread, the cornbread is really super crumbly. Yeah. Um, and you know, so you're gonna have you're gonna have a mess on your hands one way or another. Yeah. Um, for me, texture-wise, on this, I'd probably just go straight Fritos pie. Yeah, sure. With the, with the hot. You dog. get that beautiful crunch yeah, from a Frito I, I, that you I, don't I like get from a cornbread. If you're gonna do it knife and fork style, or even if you put this on top of the, the nachos. Yeah, the cornbread is not too sweet. There's a little bit of sweetness, but it's not too sweet, um, which is good. Yeah, and it's just regular cornbread, so all the jalapeno comes from the actual jalapeno. Uh -huh. And those jalapenos really add to this dish, I think. I love a little. I love jalapeno cornbread. Uh -huh. I love jalapeno corn pudding. Oh. Yeah. That's, are you, are you guys listening? <laughs> Right. We're not trying to bribe you, but that sounds good next year. This is the last thing you... Evan keeps saying we need to have the brisket egg rolls. And I said we've had the brisket egg rolls in 2020 when we were last doing this together. But then 2020 happened. But then it's been a tough two years. And these are back on the menu. They're a fan. This is from a fan who won a Twitter contest. Um, it's a really darn good dish. Yeah. It's a, We're going to end on a high note here. So... I would eat anything in an egg roll wrapper, literally anything. A, yep. a traditional egg roll wrapper, not a spring roll wrapper. Um, you can usually tell the difference because these are bubblier and a little bit thicker. Uh -huh. uh, but it comes with some Sweet Baby Rays. Yep. And they didn't pay me to say this, I really like Sweet Baby Rays. And uh, of all the barbecue sauce companies, it's a good one. And I have feelings about barbecue sauce. Yeah, tons of brisket in there. Easy to carry, stays Look, together. For me, this is a perfect ballpark food. Mm. Um, I think I've told you, I've told the, the folks here at Delaware North, I remember when they did what they called Texas snowballs, which were basically funnel those. cakes, funnel cake balls, almost like funnel cake hush puppies, uh -huh. stuffed with brisket. And they, they were, were great. Portable, easy to eat. Yep. I've never, I, I've got to be honest, and the, the, the thing I like here is that none of these are giant, giant sized food. Not this year. As much as I've, you know, enjoyed stuffing my face on camera for you in the giant size. It's food, not for me, it's for us. It, it, it's my <laughs> sacrifice for the people. Um, <laughs> I, I've, I've never really found it attractive. It's all messy, I, I, and I think it, it all looks better, and it's great for the Instagram rather than for the experience. A legitimate amount of brisket in here, a lot of flavor. The crunch from the crunch from the egg roll wrapper for me really complements it. I'm really happy that this was also a fan suggested item. Uh, Pretty this neat. Is, this is my best of show. Yep. Well, Evan, I love doing with this with you every year. Um, it's always fun to eat the new food and to tell people what we think. Hopefully it's useful, and if nothing else, maybe it makes some folks hungry. Um, so thank you for listening to us. And if you're watching on video, thank you for watching us eat while you possibly weren't. And we it hope to see you. It can be fun watching me eat. It is fun, Evan. I do it a lot. <laughs> but we hope to see you at the ballpark. My wife will be very proud that I did not drip anything on my shirt for once. I did. I got chili on my dress. It happened. I wasn't going to tell anybody. I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. You're going to finish the egg roll. You should. I am.